Today, we're going to continue with our overview of the high level dashboard series that we've been working on the past several weeks. So, last week we did take a little break while I did the virtual workshop with high level. So, if you missed that, you can definitely go to bridgetbartlett.com. If you missed the, you can check out the replays there. And if you're interested in joining our program, you can click here and you'll see that we do have a few options to join. If you are a beginner to software reselling, or you are on the high level SaaS plan, you can join as a client, you get access to our coaching program, our white label AI ads manager that you can resell as your own, and all the other resources. If you are not a high level member, and you would like the ability to resell high level, in addition to being a member of our program and reselling our white label AI ads manager, you can join as an affiliate and you will get a free starter plan inside of our agency. So I really only recommend this for experienced marketers and agency owners. Like I said, if you're a beginner, you can join as a client. Okay. So uh, inside of the high level dashboard, you'll see that inside the memberships tab that you have your dashboard here. And this is just simply, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to see how many opt-ins you've had, sales, checkouts, and how many members have joined. Now here you'll see the products. So the products are individual courses inside of the membership area. So we actually have two products here. So we have like an introductory course and you'll see how all of that is structured here. We have basically the, um, the module and then, or the category, and then we have like the subcategories here. Inside of each course, you'll see the outline here. You'll also see the details. So if you want to change your uh, the title of the course, you can add a description here, the thumbnail. You could also add some additional customizations. For example, the instructor. You can add the headshot of the instructor, um, the name, title, bio. You can add the logo. And these settings are for the individual product. You could actually have different um, like a different instructor, for example, or a different logo or headshot for each individual product or course inside of the membership area. Okay. So you'll see here we have a favicon and then there's some advanced settings. Uh, if you have some CSS or something like that, that you wanted to use, you can also customize this. You'll see that we have a few themes here. Now, um, if you wanted to customize it, or maybe you wanted to apply the theme, you could just apply it here. But if you did want to customize, you can just click on customize. And then you'll see here when you click through the theme settings in the layout, you can change the colors and the images here. You can also toggle over and then change the actual uh, sections. So you'll see here that we have the uh, this section header and this section hero image and the font and all of those things. If you want to change the lesson here, you want to come over and toggle over here, and then you can change the sections inside of the lesson. Okay. Now, once you get all of this set how you want it, you can save the theme and you can also apply the theme. You can preview the theme to see what it looks like live. So that's what it kind of looks like here as just the basic uh, template function that we created, okay? So going back now into our gallery here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go all the way back into the editor. So we went over the customize. Now you'll see the offers. Okay, now offers, I'm going to go over this in just a second, but offers are basically the package that we're going to create and we're going to create the offer to tell the system what products or courses do we want them to have access to when they get when they're granted the offer okay now also here we have a comment section so any of the comments from anyone who's been um who's you know posted in your courses you can also see uh, the products or the comments by the course, and then also the instructor only, the public, or uh, both user selection there. So going back now uh, into the editor, let's go, let it load here. Um, now we see the certificates. So you can actually create super cool certificates um, here 
inside this certificate section. You can choose the from the templates that are available, or you can actually just upload your own. <clears throat> I Canva has tons and tons of really great uh, like certificates that you can choose. And all you need to do is just create the one with your own brand and everything that you like. And then you can just upload that certificate here. And then uh, you will be able to attach it to each of the products or courses inside of the membership area so that when your course is completed, you can actually create a custom um, certificate to send to them automatically. So that's super, super cool. So we talked about uh, the offer. So I want to get into the offers and make sure that you're really clear how all of this works. Okay. So like I said, we have all of the courses here. Okay. Now let's say that I had many more and I could even clone this if I want to. So let's just, uh, let's just say, oops, if I wanted to clone this uh, first, I could preview here. I could edit the details again. I could also clone it, which I'm going to. And what's really cool is I can share this particular course and whoever gets this link first, that's my high level affiliate link, but whoever gets that link will be able to import that entire course into their high level account. Okay. Now, of course I could clone this and I could clone it in this location, which I'm going to do, or I could actually clone this into multiple locations or sub accounts inside of my high level agency. Okay. I'm just going to click current location and I'm going to clone this uh, course here. So now you'll see that I have the two original courses that I created, and then now I have an extra one. So if I go into the offers now, let's say that I want to create an offer, and this is just going to be test offer. And now I want to choose the products that I want to be available in this offer. So everyone's going to be logging into the same membership area, but in our workflows and even manually, we want to grant them access to the offer that we want them to have available. Okay. That offer can have multiple products in it. So let's say here for this test offer, the products that we want to grant them access to when we give them access to this particular offer is going to be our two courses here and not the one that says clone. Okay. Now, is this offer going to be a one-time fee? We can choose that there. We can also choose a reoccurring. So if it's going to be like an ongoing membership course that we want to create, or if it's going to be free, we can choose that option. Okay. Now here we can put in text override, which basically just what do we want this to say? Let's say free. And then if we wanted to test this, which of course, before we go live with anything, we always want to test that, but I'm going to leave that off for training and we're going to click create. So we've actually created our first offer now. And when we grant someone access to this particular offer, they're going to log into our membership area and they're going to have access to these two courses. They will not have access to the other course. Okay. We would need to create another offer and then have have them get access to that one, or that offer would contain all three courses, and then we would give them access to that. Now, of course, what we want to do is publish this and save. And of course, you have some other options here. You can uh, add a description of your offer. Here you can edit the price. You can also choose um, the offer access. So set accessibility for members who purchase this offer. You could begin at a specific date, or you could even restrict access to a specific amount of days. Okay, so it's nice that you have all of those customizations. And of course, you can upload an image to your offer here. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and save here. But you'll see here that we also have the option to create an upsell. So let's say that we wanted that additional course. We want to give them access to that. But we wanted to make an upsell course inside of the membership area. And then when they click on that to access it, it will actually prompt them to um, go ahead and purchase that course. Okay, so really easy to create um, those upsells inside of the course area. And then of course you, you see the, get the link. Now, when you share this link and let me open up an incognito window here, when you share this link, you'll see that it is like branded to you, but it's super, super ugly. Okay. Um, I prefer to create a, a page and then I just want to, in my automations, maybe they fill out a form and then in my automations, I want to grant them access. So let's go, 
let me just show you how easy that is. Okay. Inside of any of your membership areas, I'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch here. And let's say that I had a form that I on a page that I wanted them to fill out. I could just choose that specific form. Let's say it's this one here. Um, okay, so I guess I don't have a form. We'll just make it universal and say any form. But then here's the part where we just want to grant access. Okay, so if I'm setting up this automation, now I want to grant the offer and you'll see it's that test offer. Okay, so I would just, whenever I want them to have access in my workflows to this offer, I'm going to build that in at whatever step, whatever the original trigger is, is not really relevant so much, but you do need a trigger. And then somehow in your workflows, you want to grant that. Now you can do this manually. So uh, you want to go into your contacts area and let's say I wanted to choose this contact here and I wanted to grant this contact access to our offer. I would just click here to test and then I will be able to see here if this contact received an email with access to their uh, login credentials. Okay or access to the offer that I created. Now, if they don't, what I want to do is I want to go back into the membership area and you'll see that we have in the settings here, you have email settings. And of course, we want to make sure that's toggled on um, for the welcome email and for the send drip email and the send offer email. Okay. So that's just for the courses though, in the course area. But you'll see up here that uh, we do have communities as well. Okay. Now, what's really cool is high level has come created the communities area in the client portal. So when we set up our client portal, it's actually setting up everything, the communities, the affiliate management software and the courses. Okay. But here specifically in these courses, if I click on site details, you'll see some options here, but it also says that this is going to be going away because everything is now in the client portal. So if you see this and you're kind of confused by this, don't worry, just go to the client portal and get it set up and you won't have to worry about it. If I click domain setup, you'll see that this actually routes me to the client portal. So you can see I was in the membership area settings here. When I click on domain, you'll see I'm up here. Here are my options. We're in the memberships. When I click domain setup, it actually moves me to the client portal settings and over to the sites tab. Okay. And that's because everything is now housed in the client portal. So you'll see also the app settings. And I don't know if you're aware, but we actually do have a gray label app for our course area. It is the Collab app, K-O-L-L-A-B. So if you want to look up um, that, we will have the ability to white label this um, right now. Um, I'm sorry, that's for the communities, but right now it's a PWA, which is a progressive web app, which basically means it acts like an app, but you don't have to like get it through approved for the app store. Okay. So this is just for the course area. It's a PWA. Okay. Now we've talked all about the course area. Now let's talk about communities here. Okay. So you'll see if I go to communities and I go to settings again, we are setting up the client portal. Okay. So we see members dot, uh, coaching business demo. I forgot which one that was. Um, and if we go into sites again and we go up to the client portal and go to settings and domain setup, you'll see that's the same domain. Okay. So everything is being housed inside of the client portal. Okay. Let's go back to memberships now and you'll see in the, uh, settings or I'm sorry, You'll see in the groups, now we have, um, I already have two pre-built groups and I actually went over how to create all of this and everything um, in the workshop. So definitely go back and check that out if you want a more detailed training on this. But we have two community groups here. And you'll see if I click here to go to the paid members, we actually go right through to the client portal. And you can see up here that we have only communities, okay? The only thing that we can access here in the menu is communities. So if we wanted to change that, let's go back into our client portal settings, okay? So we have the app permissions. And you'll see that the only reason we saw communities in that menu is because we have in the settings of our client portal, we have this one toggled on here, we have this box checked. And that's simply because we didn't have a course at the time, or maybe we don't have the affiliate management 
Um, if you're unfamiliar, inside of High Level, you can actually create an affiliate program for your business. So if you do have that and you want it to be accessible through the client portal, you just want to make sure that you're checking the boxes of all the things that you want accessible there. And then also, what page do you want them to land on when they access the, uh, the membership area? So for example, if I am in this membership area, do I want them to be able to, let's see if it's here. It, it would be the home page here. This would be the home page of the client portal. Will they see uh, their headshot here and their name and then the ability to join the group and all of that stuff? Um, or if I refresh this, uh, actually, let's go back here. Uh, that's what the home page would be. I'm sorry. So, um, or do I want them to see <clears throat> communities here? So that would be like this area. If I wanted them to see learning, it would be in the learning tab. Let me refresh this because I should now see those other options since I checked the box. I might need to, uh, re oh, I didn't save. Okay. So let's save here. And then when I open up the client portal, I should be able to see now all of those sections visible and we should be able to open up the client portal. So I'm going to go now to my groups. Let's go back into groups and let's open this up here. So there's my client portal login, but it's bypassing that because I'm the owner here. And I don't know why it's not showing that. I think I'm, I got a cookie issue. So if you, if you guys do see that, um, or I think it could also be, uh, my toggle settings. Okay. Yeah. If you guys ever see that and you're like, wait a minute, I set this. And for some reason I'm not seeing it clear your cookies and caches. Um, and that's what I would do if I wasn't live right now. So I don't know why that's showing, but let's troubleshoot this for a second, because if you guys do see that, I want to make sure that I'm telling you the right thing because oftentimes I end my live and I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize that's what it was. Okay. So let's go back to free members. Let's refresh this. Okay. So I, it could be that uh, I don't have these other things set up and that's why it's not showing it. Okay. So so sorry about that. Um, regardless of that, you can also set the branding in your client portal here. Pretty self-explanatory. You have some advanced settings as well. And then um, you have the, oh, we already talked about app permissions. Yeah, that's really going to bug me now because I don't know why that's not showing up. Let's go back here. I'll, I'll try this one more time and then I will not obsess over it. Okay, let's go back and let's go into the Oh, also, this is important to note, the client portal dashboard. If you do remember, though, when you're using this, that you are inviting them to the client portal, okay? You're not granting them access to a course. You need to grant the access to the course for them to receive access to the client portal. Same thing with um, if they are an affiliate and you have them getting access to the affiliate management system with their own link and they can track their sales and all that, that is inside of the client portal, but you need to grant them access to the affiliate management system to be able to access um, or to be able to access that part, right? Or even the client portal. If they log in here and you don't, you've not given them access to anything, they're just going to see a blank screen, okay? So that's really important. If you want to give them a magic link, this uh, you can just choose the contact there and they'll get an email and they'll be able to just click the link and automatically log in. If you want to invite them to the client portal, they'll receive their login credentials or be able to click in there. And then you can also send the login email as well. OK, so um, that is really uh, all of the different details here inside of the membership area. So we have courses, you have your communities and groups, and then you also have that certificate section here that you can send them uh, certificates when they have completed that's customized with their name and all of that cool stuff. OK, so again, if you guys are not a member of High Level and you want to join uh, and get access to our affiliate uh, or I'm sorry, our coaching program for free, you can actually click here. And if you did miss any of that training that I did in the workshop last week, go ahead and check it out here. All you got to do is click there and you go right to the page. You don't even have to register or anything uh, to check out the three-day workshop. Okay. So thank you all so, so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Go make your vision a reality. 
for joining us for today's training. If you have any questions, you can join us for open office hours starting right now at bridgeofbartlett.com. 